So I already weighted the ingredients. We have the flour. Flour is 450. I will put the recipe with the process and the tips in the description of the video so you will know everything. This is T45 or T450 yeast, salt. There's some sugar in the recipe on the internet, but I don't put sugar because, well, half of the can is sugar already. So you can put everything together, there's no problem when there's some yeast. As long as you don't mix it together, it's okay. So I'm just gonna put first the Coca-Cola, but I need to wait the Coca-Cola. Two hundred fifty-four. It's okay. There will be some butter also, but the butter I will add it at the end. So first, I'm gonna put the Coca-Cola in the bowl. And the rest of the ingredients. I prepared the box with some oil inside to put the dough after. And put the oil like this, you will avoid to stick to the plastic or to the container and it can be annoying. So now we're gonna mix. Now we're gonna mix four minutes in the first speed. Five minutes, second speed. And then I will add the butter and it will be enough. So four minutes like this and we will check in two minutes to see how it is. So I just checked this dough, it's quite hard actually. So I'm gonna put a little bit more butter. Instead of 20 gram, I will put 35 gram. So this is after the four minutes in first speed. Yeah, the dough is quite, it's quite hard. Can kill someone with this. I'm not gonna add more Coca-Cola, I'm just gonna Put more butter so like I said I put 35 so now I'm gonna go for pretty much five minutes in second speed so this is the second speed well, after the five minutes at second speed the dough should be a little bit more soft so this is my dough after mixing it looks much softer so with the butter will be perfect okay so now we're gonna go in first speed put the butter slowly and until when the butter is incorporated to the dough it will be enough and we will put in the container. Okay, so now I just finished the dough. I took it out. You can see it's pretty nice. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a round, make it tight a little bit. And just put in the container. And I think I'm gonna let it rest for 50 minutes, I will check after. So yes, as you can see now, I'm not at work because well, I couldn't finish at work, too busy. So I just let the dough at room temperature for 50 minutes, as I said, and then I put in the fridge until I finished work. Once I arrive at home, I just divide the dough. I prepare a tin that I sprayed to make the biggest part of the dough inside. And then I just made some basic shaping for the bake. You can just have a look and see how it is. So if you ask why first I make round before shaping, it's just to pre-shape the dough. It gives a little bit more strength to the dough. So after you let it rest, it's easier also to shape the dough that you want. So this shape, I have no idea in English. Maybe it's the same as in French, so it's called a tresse à trois branches.
and for the two rounds that you can see I'm just gonna make some basic shape. One will be a normal pata and the other one is a tress ein branche. Then I just put everything to prove, so as you can see it's quite small. And you can see also in the tin it's very small. It's gonna prove and when you know it's gonna be ready, it, the dough will be almost at the top of the tin. I'm gonna let it rest for maybe two or three hours for this. I let it proof for about two hours, it was like 25 degrees in the oven. I just put the minimum temperature in the oven and turn off and turn on sometimes to keep the temperature with the bowl of water for the humidity and just let it proof like this for about two hours. So when it's proofed, well you can see the tin is almost on top. I just cover with egg everywhere and I just add a little bit of sugar on the tin and it's ready to go in the oven. The baking is done, so as you can see, it looks pretty nice. It looks quite shiny, well this is the egg. The dough is quite soft inside. Anyway, I tried the recipe, I tasted it, and well, don't be surprised, but for a 12 million view recipe, I expected something very interesting. And actually, it's nothing. It doesn't taste at all like Coke, not even just a little bit. It's not even very sweet, I thought it would be because of this, but actually not at all. And well, what I can say is it's just a nice bread brioche, like a pandemic I would say, that you can just use for breaky. You just put some jam and butter and it's quite nice, but really for the taste and for 12 million view, I have to say nothing special at all. So if I recommend you to do it, don't bother at all. You can find much better than this for sure. So well, I wanted to try to see how it is and now you know, so you can just subscribe to, to this channel, it would be very appreciated and well, you can also give it a like, it's free for you, it's nice for me, everybody is happy. So have a good day, see you next time, bye bye.